Hi Libra, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val through the Three Tarot and we're just going to jump right in and see what's going on here with who you're dealing with, what are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you. Uh, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node and this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with all of you but for more readings after this please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777 and I do offer um, same day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, Libra, so it looks like here with whoever this is, uh, they kind of start out pretty defensive and guarded here towards you, so they can kind of be in their strength. This is someone that's in the, you know, they have success in public public success and recognition they feel really successful they feel noticed and seen they may want more like with you or through you or out of you you know what i mean they may feel this way with you and towards you um for some of you they have a contract or a commitment or marriage here with you of some sort here or they're just kind of keeping to themselves okay they are trusting themselves about something here you know they could be seeking guidance and information about what to do about them and you but either or here looks like they're going to just remain pretty comfortable with who they are and what they do um and just continue to just go on journeys and take sleep of faiths and try things you know new things and kind of live their life with that now i do see them here just kind of being right now just pretty neutral and reserved here you know in general or with you or towards you okay maybe a little cold Now, I do see very clearly for some of you, okay, a whole chunk just fell out. I do see very clearly for some of you, like you're, you're dealing with this person and it's very complicated and, or you are, you know, the one who's single and you're dealing with someone who's in a marriage and relationship. So either or here. Um, but I do see here that they go cold and or get reserved with you and towards you because there's something that they know is over and done with here. And it's for the sake of a few things here. Either they're, they're, you know, they're in a marriage or relationship outside of you with someone else and they're finally going to end it with them and or maybe they're going to end it with you. But the thing is, it's because they're in love with you and they want a new beginning and a new chapter here with you. For some of you, they're going to maybe end it with someone else or, you know, for you. Because it's like they, they're in a lot of pain and there's an ending here, but at the same time, they, want, they have new love. Okay, so the, I don't know, for some of you, it's like they want to be single. Others of you, it's like they want to be with you, okay? Or, you know, they kind of want to just do their own thing. Whatever this is here, though, that's what caused them to kind of just feel like they have to walk away from you and not deal with this and because it, it's, it's a lot for them. Um, I'm not going to really say it's a waste of time for them. It's more so there's something going on where they just feel like it makes them feel like crap and lack of. It's not much they can do about it. And so they still have hope and faith, though. Here's the thing. I feel like this is someone that wants to find a way to approach you or be with you and make it work with you, if that makes sense, because... They still have hopes and goals and dreams. They still want to rest and recover and reflect on what reflect on what goes on between the two of you. And they still have a lot of passion here with you and towards you um, and excitement and happiness or whatever it is. Now, you know, it looks like here they still choose to make, want to make things equal with you as well, especially financially here. OK, and they do show them being very independent and focused though with their own finances career path and money and everything here so for a lot of you they're kind of showing that or maybe they're saying that's what they want 
and or they will continue kind of like sharing with you their abundance and just kind of still being independent and doing their own thing either or it looks like it's because one you know that's what makes them happy they have fun it feels good and or because of there could be kids involved for some of you here others of you it's because you know they may be like i said they want to approach you and they're in love with you and they have romance with you and or maybe towards someone else okay so either or here because that's what makes them kind of go either for a few things literally they are your ex or they go back to their ex okay or there's something here of nostalgia happiness fun you know kind of energy and that's what makes them want to move forward though you know on a different path and journey and that's where they're burdened that's where they realize there's a lot going on and that's where they feel burdened and stressed out and they're ha they're gonna have to you know drop something here and this is what makes them kind of go quiet maybe ghost you or go, go you know figure out what they need to do um hide away for a bit it causes them to want to seek some counseling to figure out what to do about the situation. Hold on. There we go. Hmm. Okay. So for some of you, it's unfortunately them trying to figure out, you know, getting mediators and counselors and all that in because, and lawyers and all that and contracts and legal matters because of a divorce and court cases and that kind of stuff. For some of you, it could be other legal matters. It could be a contract both of you have in place together, either or. It's like really creating a balance and a shift here. And that's where there's a lot of heartbreak and pain here for this person with them towards you. And I don't know if it's about kids for some of you, for others of you, it's just like them, you know, maybe they express this to you, but this is where they kind of choose to research and, and you know, do research and study and maybe say something, do something, figure out more of what they can do in regards to the situation. It looks like maybe in regards to their position, who they are, you know what I mean? Wealth, uh, relationship, status, all of that. So now whether this is with you or maybe with someone else that they're living with at home or they're keeping that hidden at home, I don't know what that's about. Um, it looks like here like that's where they're just kind of like um, focused on their position, status, wealth, power, you know, they could be a father figure, mother figure, either with you or with someone else, I don't know. Um, that's where it's quiet. That's where it's hidden. That's where it's mysterious and it's at home, either with you or with someone else or with themselves. That's where there's emotional commitment and compassion there. That's where they're kind of having anxiety of trying to figure out what to do about everything going on and like how to multitask everything and money and business and, and, and uh, investments and how to balance it all. But that's what they're basically like focusing on and working on right now with that. So uh, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Thank you. Bye.